What up guys, it's your boy Showtime Phantom and I'm back baby with a brand new episode and today I'm going to be talking about the time when I came face to face with Bigfoot. So it was the summer of 2015, okay, so I was, I was 14 years old, 15 years, something like that, right? And I, I got some um, forest around my house. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for a walk. So I went into the fridge, got the nectar of the gods, some Sprite, okay, cracked that thing open, was sipping it all the way down to um, the forest, you know. And I'm like, you know what, today it's going to be a good day. I could feel it. The birds were chirping, the frogs were croaking, and Showtime Fountain was strutting down to the forest, baby. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. It must have been 82 degrees. It was awesome. I can still remember it to this day. So from the moment I got into the woods, I knew something was up. I could, I could feel it in the air. The air was heavy, you know, and, and I, could, I can hear footsteps all around me. So I kept walking and walking and walking, and from the corner of my eye, I saw this thing bolt. And I was like, the fluff was that? That was one big mound lion or whatever the hell it was, okay? Because it was huge, okay? I'm telling you, it, it was bigger than a grizzly bear, okay? This thing was... It was massive, and I could, I could see it from the corner of my eye, and I knew at that point I was messing with something. See, but, you know, I, I didn't go back because I was thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm drinking my Sprite. If I go back home, my mom's going to say, Frank, why are you drinking pop? So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep walking. I'm going to finish my pop, and then I'm going to go back home. So um, I was already a pretty good way into the forest. So I'm like, you know what, I'm g I'll turn back now because I'll be able to finish the pop, and I'll get out. All of a sudden, boom, something jumped in front of my way. I was like, and I looked up, and I couldn't believe it. Bigfoot was standing right in front of me, looking at me, like that. You could smell its breath. You could see its dark yellow teeth, and it was staring right at me. It was scarier than the time when a king cobra bit my dad in the backyard and I had to suck the venom out of his leg. Okay, that's how scary this thing was. So, you know, me and this thing, you know, we're staring back at each other. I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, and we're in a staring contest right now. I can, like, I can feel his hot breath just coming on me. And in my head, I'm going, oh, shit, how am I going to get away from him? How am I going to go again? What do I do? You know, I, I'm just looking around thinking how am I gonna get out of this situation? So in my brain, I'm jogging my memory. I'm like I can punch this guy But he's also seven foot five, okay? You know, the, the, you, I ain't gonna win in a fight against this guy, okay? Then I thought wait a minute. I haven't finished my sprite yet. So, what I did was I grabbed my Sprite and I just pointed at it. I said, hey, buddy, you, you know what this is? You, you drink it. I'm trying to, you know, tell him, you know, trying to get his attention. He was looking at me like that. So, I, you know, obviously, he's not getting it. So, what I did was I put my hand up and he grabbed the Sprite and he stared at me. And he drank it like a human. He drank it. And after he was done, he crushed it. Threw it to the side. Pointed at me. Stepped out of the way. And told me to walk out. After that, never went to the forest again. Never went to the forest again. 